Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Now today we are going to look at the county's response to plaintiff's answer to counterclaims and third-party claims in civil case number 27 CV 22-1089, where Superior Dreams LLC is the counterclaim plaintiff, U.S. Boat and Recreation Inc. is the third-party plaintiff versus County of Hennepin John Doe 1 and 2 in their individual and official capacities, a counterclaim defendants. Introduction. Hennepin admits that this case concerns the fate of the 58-foot C-Note yacht, which has been operating on Minnetonka for about 26 years, that Hennepin filed a lawsuit asserting claims for nuisance, trespass, and ejectment, and that it filed an emergency motion requesting to immediately move the C-Note. Hennepin denies or has insufficient information about the remaining allegations in paragraph 1. Parties. Hennepin is without sufficient information to form a belief or opinion on the allegations in paragraph 3 and 4, and they admit the allegations in paragraph 5 or 6. And that's just for the parties. Now, we are going to see a pattern here in the factual allegations. Hennepin is without sufficient information to form a belief or opinion in the allegations in paragraphs 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, Let's throw in a couple of denials in 18 and 19. Now, number 20, actually say something. Until recently, the city of Spring Park has denied permission to defendants to store the C-Note at 4444 Shoreline Drive. The city of Spring Park has now determined that the storage of the C-Note at this location does not violate its zoning code. Hennepin admits the allegations in paragraph 20. All Turbine Guys has to say is, don't get used to that. Because the last thing Hennepin County is going to do is actually admit anything throughout this complaint or reply to it, as you will see. Hennepin County then goes on to deny the allegations in paragraphs 22 through 32 and 34. Just have to throw one more insufficient information to form a belief in paragraph 33 when it comes to the factual allegations. Count one. Number 36, Hennepin denies the allegations in 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. Now, I would run through count 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, except, as we can see, they are all the same. Hennepin denies the allegations or ain't smart enough to figure any information out. Here is the interesting part. Defenses. Counterclaim plaintiff and third-party plaintiff claims fail to state a basis upon which relief can be granted. The claims are barred by various immunity doctrines, including qualified immunity, official immunity, statutory immunity, and key other immunities conferred by federal and state statutes or common law. The claims are barred by the doctrine of unclean hands. Damages sustained by the counterclaim plaintiff, third-party plaintiff, if any, were due to, caused by, contributed, or brought by as a result of the conduct of the counterclaim plaintiff and third-party plaintiff. Claims are barred by the doctrine of comparative fault. Counterclaim plaintiff and third-party plaintiff's damages, if any, were caused by conduct of others over whom Hennepin had no control or right or duty to control and for whom Hennepin was not responsible, including but not limited to conduct and actions taken by the city of Spring Park, the Minnesota State Patrol, and any officials, employees, agents, and representatives of the same. Counterclaim plaintiff, third-party plaintiff's damages, if any, may have been caused by an event or condition, an independent intervening or superseding cause, and or an act of mission of a third party or person over whom Hennepin is not liable or responsible or over whom Hennepin has no control. Counterclaim plaintiff and third-party plaintiff assume the risk of any damages they claim they have sustained. Claims are barred in whole or in part because counterclaim plaintiff and third-party plaintiff failed to avoid the consequences of their own conduct. Claims are barred because Hennepin's actions were justified. Claims are barred by the doctrine of estoppel. Hennepin reserves the right to amend and or supplement these affirmative defenses. Wherefore, Hennepin asks for an order of the court as follows, dismissing the claims and granting Hennepin judgment in its favor, awarding Hennepin County all cost disbursements and attorney's fees, such other and further relief as the court deems just and equitable. Michael Freeman, Hennepin County Attorney, by Charles H. Salter, March 25th, 2022. Well, what's the turbine guy's opinion? My opinion is, what a joke. These people act as if 
going to court and all this law stuff is really big, but all they can ever do is deny, deny, deny. We ain't smart enough to figure it out. We ain't smart enough to figure it out. And oh, by the way, it's all your fault anyways. At least that's what I see in it. Now, when we get down to the worst part of it, what I see, the defenses, the first thing that really sticks out at me and just sticks in the turbine guy's craw is the claims are barred by various immunity doctrines, including qualified immunity, official immunity, statutory immunity, and any other immunities conferred by... Let's just use immunities because we're the government and we are immune from anything we do anytime, anywhere to anybody about anything. And to the turbine guy, that's the biggest problem we have when it comes to government is these immunities conferred upon them so that none of them are ever held responsible for what they do. And to get over these immunities is extremely difficult because the judges are in the pockets of the cities and government these days. At least that's what the turbine guy has outright seen through my interactions with the court and other things. Then they go on to say the claims are barred by the doctrine of unclean hands. Well, look who the hell's talking, Hennepin County. You lost. You did not win your injunction. Whose hands are really unclean, Hennepin County? I'd like to ask you that. Of course, I know you won't answer. Number four, damages sustained by counterclaim and third-party plaintiffs were caused and contributed by themselves. Of course, the actions of Hennepin County had absolutely nothing to do with it, even though they already lost in this lawsuit. The claims are barred by a doctrine of comparative fault. Yeah, whatever. And here's one of the best. Counterclaim plaintiff and third-party plaintiff damages any were caused by conduct of others who Hennepin had no control over. Turbine guy calls BS to that. 100% BS, because that state trooper did not lie on his own. That state trooper was told what to say in the turbine guy's opinion, and Hennepin County is as dirty, has hands as dirty as anybody else, and they should be held accountable for trying to get Spring Park to say no, for getting the trooper to not tell the truth, and for everything else that has happened to try to prevent the C-note from being moved. Now we get to number nine, claims are barred in whole or in part because counterclaim plaintiff, third-party plaintiff failed to avoid consequences of their own conduct. Well, these people also failed to avoid the consequences of Hennepin County's conduct in trapping that boat where it was and filing a lawsuit to drag this on for months that Hennepin County lost to. And that great leads right into claims are barred because Hennepin County's actions were justified. Huh. I guess losing in court still means you were justified? Turbine guy doesn't think so. Turbine guy doesn't think so at all. What the turbine guy reads out of this response is, heck, we're the county. How could we be held responsible for anything we do? Why would we be held responsible? We got all these immunities to protect us from all our abhorrent, and nefarious behavior, and there was a ton. And I really hate to tell Hennepin County one thing they don't have in here. The one thing they're missing is what, everybody? Hennepin County Sheriff. And that the sheriff was issuing tickets, that Hennepin County itself refused to issue the permit to move it, and that the Hennepin County Sheriff tried to block the move at the very last minute. Those are all county things, and for some reason, Hennepin County just can't remember that those are all county actions, and they're extremely missing in this reply. So, what the turbine guy sees is Hennepin County not being honest, lying by omission, and trying to cover up and to, to protect themselves from their own nefarious actions. Turbine guy, signing off.